All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, say hello to Ren and Stimpy and the whole gang, and let's get started. So um, I would like to start this video with a confession. I'm wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. Uh, I had said for the longest time that I, because I didn't like the Delica, which I'm not going to get into it, but I'll just say the Delica is a larger knife than this, and it felt like it should be a more substantial knife, and it is so thin and so light that I just didn't care for it. It was not, I sold that one pretty quickly. And so I didn't think I'd like the Dragonfly because it's smaller even yet. Um, but I got to tell you, I think I found a configuration when I saw the crew wear blade that DLT had, uh, which is now out of stock, guys. Um, I don't know if they'll have more of them or not, but you might be able to find one on the secondary. They were $87. Um, you can get a Dragonfly cheaper, so it's not like I'm talking about something you can't get. You just, you may end up with VG10 steel or something else. Um, so yeah, this was the DLT exclusive, which, um, you know what? I should have my, yeah, there we go. There's DLT exclusive Dragonfly sticker. Um, C, uh, C28 FP, uh, OD BK2 Dragonfly. Uh, made in Japan, and this is Crewwear OD Green uh, with that black coating. Uh, you get the typical Spider Co. box, um, nothing fancy, but good and padded and uh, with uh, bubble wrap, that is. And so when I first got it out of the package, all of my uh, smart aleckness was confirmed in my head. I'm like, man, this thing is just way too small. I'm never going to like this knife. And you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of a backlock. So I was like, man, why did I buy this? Um, you know, with shipping and everything, I think it was somewhere up around $95, $94, or something like that. Um, but once I got it in hand, guys, I don't know why I ever doubted. It is that typical Sal Glasser, Eric Glasser, Spider Co., uh, amazing ergonomic just unbelievable. So if you try to hold it in a backed up grip, you can only get three fingers on this knife. Um, and, and you know, that's, that's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. But guys, you got this full size finger choil and a place for your thumb where you can get this great pinch grip. So you end up with a pinch grip here and I could really do everything like this. That is better to me than the backed up grip. Just these two fingers. And I can cut all day long. But now I can fit the other three fingers on here perfectly well. You got my favorite, the wire clip. Uh, yes, it's not deep carry. Oh, well. It's so small. It doesn't matter. So light. Uh, it is ambidextrous. Uh, great, great lock up there. Yeah, no wiggling. No lock rock. Um Obviously, you got the back lock, so it's, it's you know, you, you're good to go. Centering-wise, yeah, yeah, we're good. Um, you know, and there's not a very big channel there, so it better be good. Uh, you do have swedging on the on the blade. Now, let me, let me say why I'm so excited before I go to the, uh, uh, to, to the specs and everything. Now, you can see, guys, you can probably see on that blade... Um, there is some, some goo and some, well, you know, some different things. There's, uh, you can see a little tiny bit of wear on that black coating. I was at work the other day and I got called, uh, to do an inventory of a bunch of new equipment, uh, and tag it for inventory. Um, I had to open probably 35 really large boxes and break down some of the cardboard, cut open, shred and this thing when i was done i should have taken a video right then and there it was filthy it was disgusting covered in tape covered in everything i cleaned it up and let me tell you this blade this crew wear blade is still ridiculously sharp now when i first um i had two knives on me that day i can't you know what it might have been this guy i also have right now which is the uh damn designs um uh invictus which is a great big blade. I had this one in my pocket, I believe, and I had this one. It might have been a different one, but I think it was the Invictus. So why did I choose this one to break down the boxes? Well, there was a bunch of people in the room with me, and we're at work, and so to me, 
It's just a lot less. You're going to get a lot less eyeballs with this little bitty guy. Um, I hate to tell my wife because when this came in, I originally told her I was going to give it to her as a as a purse carry. I'm not sure that's happening now. <laughs> I may get her one, uh, like a I'll get her a nice little like light blue one or or something. I'll find her one. Uh, but I think this one might be staying with me because it destroyed those boxes. Uh, and it is sharp. Now, I may still, st I don't need to strop it. You know what? I might still strop it in case there's some burrs or something, but uh, it is just really well done. As far as uh, billboarding, you got the Spyderco Bug, uh, and you've got Spyderco, CPM Crew Air, uh, Seki City Japan, and Sal's Maker's Mark there. Um, I like the texture for this particular one. Uh, the typical spider coat texture on the FRN, uh, just dig it. Now, uh, for the use I was using it for, and as a secondary fifth pocket knife, I don't care about the back lock. It is a good lock. It's locked up. And again, I just can't tell you how easy it was just to, you know, just basically rip into those boxes this guy's going to become a backup knife for a long time to come. And it hit me sideways at a left field. I did not expect it. I got it literally because I wanted to review it and thought, if I don't like it, I'll sell it or give it to my wife or do something. So there you go. There's, uh, oh, I didn't really say it is 5.56 uh, inches overall. A blade length is 2.25. The closed length is only 3.3 inches. Uh, FRN handles, black coated blade, crew wear, um, pocket clip is Ambi with that uh, great spider co, co wire clip, which is one of my favorites. And this guy is only 1.2 ounces, guys. That's it. Uh, and, and again, is it a heavy duty work knife? It is absolutely not. Is it great to pull out and open a bunch of boxes? and uh, do whatever it, you know you need to do for a basic EDC task? Absolutely. And it, this one was less than 100 bucks with that crew wear steel. Um, if you can find one, uh, I encourage you to do so. So uh, there it is, the Spider Co. Uh, Dragonfly 2 in CPM crew wear. DLT exclusive. Thanks, DLT. You guys did a great job with the shipping and uh, with getting to me, and thanks for the little special sticker here. That's really cool as well. Uh, you guys know I'm not a huge one to jump on a bunch of uh, uh, exclusives, but when I saw this one, knowing that I hadn't reviewed one, I just wanted to try it out. So there you go. Spider Co. Dragonfly 2. Guys, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you have a, a Dragonfly? Do you like it? Um, you know, I have a lot of friends that carry these a lot of the time. And, uh, I tell you that it's going to be a great shorts carry for the, during the summer here. Um, and so, yeah. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so guys. But for those of you that are, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And thanks most of all for watching the Knives Fast channel.